Dr. Ranganathan, first with you. How do you make this sort of, what do you make of this welter of support, this uh, blithe regard for this deceased, this poor deceased family? Uh, and their claim. Yes. Good evening, Rahul. Look, the only question that needs answering right now is would the attendance at terrorist Mukhtar Ansari's funeral beat the record of terrorist Yaqub Memon's funeral or terrorist Burhan Wani's funerals? I'm sure as we speak, tens of thousands of the attendees are dusting their somber kurta and skull caps. Where are all those who have been crying over the last 10 years over mainstreaming of violence? Well, there they are crying over Ansari's death and paying their respects from politicians to political parties. Every one of these charlatans have suddenly forgotten that Ansari had 61 serious criminal cases pending against him, that he was convicted in four cases of horrendous blood curdling murders. But I have to say this, Rahul, Mukhtar Ansari is a symptom. Let me tell you of the disease, because if I don't, then nothing would change going forward. As a famous dialogue went, Bihar mein to baagi hote hain. Dakat milte hain parliament mein. Twenty-nine percent of our current MPs cutting across party lines face serious criminal charges like murder, rape, decoity, up from nine percent in 2004. Most of them always get acquitted because the witnesses miraculously turn hostile every single time. Hari Shankar Tiwari, Virendra Pratap, Atik Ahmed, Prakash Chukla, Brijesh Singh, Munna Bajrangi, the late Mukhtar Ansari. These aren't gangsters anymore. They're politicians. Now, when such are our legislators, is it any surprise there is no clamor for reforming our judiciary or the police force? It is the police force that is the highest per for our netas, not the Lal Bhatti Rahul. Encounters, aiding criminals, custodial deaths, especially of rival gang members, these are not the exception but the rule. Did you know 1800 Indians died in police and judicial custody in 2019, almost five every single day pre-COVID? But where are the police and the judicial reforms? By the time this debate finishes, Rahul, Four women would have been raped, 200 trials would have been encountered, and three cases would have been added to the 5 lakh, 45 lakh cases already pending in our high courts. 24% of judiciary positions lie vacant. 50,846 cases that are pending are as old as 35 years. In all, 5 crore cases are pending. We have only 137 policemen per lakh population. The US recommends 220. 24% police posts lie vacant across states. There is 35% inadequacy of police vehicles and up to 75% shortage in weaponry. Worse, where they are equipped, it is with outdated weapons. 51 police stations across India are still without a telephone or a wireless. The seven-point Supreme Court directed through the Prakash Singh case is yet to be applied. Apocalypse Rahul has come and gone. We are living in a post-apocalyptic India where the wheels of judiciary and executive aren't just even grinding slowly. They have come to a stop. Remember Harishankar Tiwari, just 30 seconds. The first gangster to win election from jail. He and his family first joined the Congress, then BJP, then SP, then BSP. Remember Raja Bhaiya? BSP arrested him under POTA. SP dismissed POTA charges within 15 minutes of coming to power and made him a minister. BJP that took his help in 2018 Rajya Sabha election and made him a minister in 1997. Democracy more often than we'd like to admit, Rahul, is not so much the defeat of the elected as it is of the electorate.